the way I've always seen myself as a surgeon is, is that every procedure that I have is just a tool in the toolbox that I have to use. So yes, I do teach a lot of Olaf. Yes, I do perform a lot of Olaf, but it's not just because I have that hammer, everything isn't an Olaf nail to me. I'm able to do, I still do t lifts I still do laterals, I still do A-lifts on occasion because I know I have to be able to have that skill set to be able to do what's right for the patient. When it comes down to it, that's what we're here for. So the way I look at Olaf has always been, well, if I can do an Olaf, I'm going to. But if I can't, because of anatomical restrictions, because of patients have had previous abdominal surgery, there's some reason I can't do a lateral or an OLIF, I'm going to want to do a T-LIF. And so I look at it this way and I say, okay, now I have an option to do a T-LIF option that I haven't had before, which is um, to do a T-LIF in a minimally invasive way, uh, because in the end, the previous MIS T-LIFs that I'd seen were done with tubes, and the learning curve for them was very steep. And not just so much the learning curve was steep, but also the this sort of the instrumentation was a change. You'd have to go to bayoneted instruments because you're going down a tube, you have to use a microscope. There were just a lot of different things that you had to change to do a minimally invasive T-lift. This T-lift, this catalyst that I saw with the space, the implant, the, the, the retractor system, it basically was like a mini open. So you're essentially using normal kerosens, normal pituitaries, normal shavers. You're, you're basically using all the same instruments you would use for an open T-lift, but doing it in a minimally invasive way because of the advantages of the retractor system and because of the advantages that the navigation provides. So I look at it now as, yes, I still have that tool in my toolbox, but now I have a way to do a T-lift in a minimally invasive way that I didn't have before. So I have the option now to sort of keep everything that I do in a minimally invasive way, which obviously from the standpoint of the patients is better for hospital length of stay, blood loss, all those things, but I still get a good amount of correction that I want because of the expandability of the cage. I still get great visualization. I can still do, you know, foraminal decompressions. It gives me all the options I had before, but now I have it in a minimally invasive way that doesn't seem intimidating to me from the standpoint of a learning curve. Because that's been the biggest, um, I think the biggest thing with MIST lifts across the sort of spectrum is, that, oh, the learning curve is really steep. It's really steep. And so now this, this was, this seemed like very intuitive to me. I can come at it from a couple perspectives. The, the transition for me has been one that's been kind of a slow current. Um, I think that the advantages of an MIST lift become really evident as, as we've had to, to shorten length of stay, right? So the last year of 2020 forced us to have to find spaces where people could go home quickly, and an MIST lift allows that. So it's less muscle destruction, it's uh, the same capacity to, to treat the pathology really well, but you don't have the same uh, recovery that people have to get over with the same risks, right? There's less, less potentially blood loss, less OR time, once you get through that learning curve and ideally less recovery for a patient even beyond just the hospital stay. So for me as I make that transition, finding the right people to help me get better at it, um, to really transition my practice on the whole is what I'm looking forward to. Uh, and I think powerfully as we advance our technologies, we need to be able to advance the, our technique, right? So the externalities that allow us to be able to do this have come so far um, that we are more easily able to accomplish the same goal. So I think the real benefit of this is that you can take what is a seemingly sort of a black abyss of I'm going to do an MIS procedure and you kind of streamline it in conjunction with the retractor and with these new techniques of the cage itself and you make what is this entirely new technique a much more familiar technique to people. So I think that that gradual sort of progression toward less invasive procedures becomes less of a hurdle to come over when you've got this kind of a system working together for you.